the one and only Judy Steinlein, who showed Judge Judy launched its 22nd season last September. Number one show, number one TV personality. Um, you've said, and I agree with you, one of the reasons your show is so successful is people love seeing a woman in control. And boy, is that a timely sentiment now. Um, and yet you, you said you never considered yourself a feminist. Why is that? And do you get the same kind of pushback in saying that that I, I do? Because I've said the same. I get pushback. You have to listen to it. You're younger. I don't listen to it because I'm old. <laughs> because when I was growing up and going to school and being a lawyer and trying to become a judge and becoming a judge and then becoming a supervising judge, I didn't through, do it through any organization. And I think it takes away from your own self-worth if you say, I, I did it based on the work of a larger group. Now, it's nice to have the... It's like having a large family, you know, family being uh, a safety net for you. It's nice to have a safety net. But if you don't have your own self-worth and forge forward yourself, that safety net, all it can do is give you the bottom. You have to push it through yourself. And I think that that's what makes me say, I'm really not a feminist, I'm an individualist. I think that individuals have, each have within themselves the capacity to be the hero of their own story. It doesn't, it doesn't always have to be a star of a television program to be the hero of your own story. You want to be a doctor, a lawyer, an Indian chief, whatever you want to be, you can be the best at it, be the most recognized in that profession or vocation. That makes you the hero of your story. That's right. You can be a burger flipper and be the best, best darn burger flipper great, they've ever be seen. A great family person, have be a great parent, be a great child, be a great citizen, be a great volunteer. That can make you a hero. That, that doesn't take a that doesn't take a village. That takes an individual spirit. And I think everybody has it within themselves to do that. What do you make of the Me Too movement? I think it was necessary. I, I you know, come, being a part-time person who lived in California, I can tell you one thing. Harvey Weinstein never put a hit on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, speaking from, I'm speaking from a different perspective. As a young lawyer, I remember going into courtrooms and male a couple of male judges saying, oh, you have great legs, or, and I don't, but you have great legs, that's a great-looking suit. And I, what I said was, thank you. Mm -hmm. It didn't make me feel uncomfortable. Um, now it does. Now it, it... I think that the Me Too movement is an important place to jump off, and I don't think it should infect the workplace so that men and women can't interact naturally with each other anymore. Uh, because... I recall I do breaks at work where I have charity auction winners who come to the set. You know, we have you know, a day at the set and we have lunch together for various charities. We do it once a week. And I was taking a picture with one of the men and I put my hand on his shoulder. And he looked at me, you know, we were sitting to take the picture. And I said, I would never have thought about that being inappropriate. Mm -hmm. But for now. So I think that the Me Too movement is an important movement, and I don't think it should be abused. So yeah. That's it. Yeah, because you can go too far to where you, you, you diminish just normal human, human interaction, interaction and kindness. And I think men and women are trying to figure out where are those clear lines. Men are scared you know what list because they're worried about, you know, just a, somebody they might have hugged if they, she looked upset before. Now they're worried what, what that's going to lead to. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.